Hello students. Welcome to EduFarm. Believe and become classes for GPAT and NIPER JEE. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to get further notifications. Hello students. Welcome to another video by EduFarm. Hope this finds you well. Today's topic is on extraction of crude drugs, which is from pharmaceutics. If you want to view more topics related to pharmaceutics, then you can just click on the card above and view the videos in the playlist. This topic is generally important for GPAT, but it is also important for NIPER and GILET. This topic also comes in the semester exams of BPharm, BPharm as well as MPharm. Let's begin with today's topic. Extraction may be defined as the treatment of plant or animal tissues with solvent, whereby the medicinally active constituents are dissolved and most of the inert matter remains undissolved. The solvent used for extraction is known as menstruum and the inert insoluble material that remains after extraction is called as mark. The product obtained is known as galenicles. Various processes of extraction are as follows, which are infusion, maceration, decoction, digestion, and percolation. Now, the extraction process can be simplified in the following manner, such as infusion, decoction, maceration, percolation, digestion. Infusion can be further classified into fresh infusion and concentrated infusion, whereas maceration can be further classified into simple maceration maceration with adjustment and multiple maceration. Multiple maceration can again be further classified into double and triple maceration. Percolation can be classified into simple percolation. Percolation process for concentrated preparations, continuous percolation process. Then percolation process for concentrated preparations can further be classified as reserve percolation process and modified percolation. Now, solvents used in extraction. The solvents or menstruum are used as the carrier in which the active constituents dissolve and separate from the crude drug or tissue. An ideal solvent should be chosen based on the following. Highly selective for the compound to be extracted. High capacity for extraction. Not react with the extracted compound or with other compounds in the crude drug, less expensive and harmless to the operator as well as the environment. And finally, it must be completely volatile. Water, alcohol, acetone, chloroform, ether are generally used solvents for extraction. Now, the polarity index of some solvents are given from nonpolar to polar. In increasing polarity, we have Petroleum ether and hexane being the non-polar one and the most polar one that is water. In between we have toluene, benzene, diethyl ether, tetrachloromethane, chloroform, ethyl acetate, acetone, methyl ethyl ketone, pyridine, triethyl amine, methanol, ethanol, isopropanol, butanol. Then we have dimethyl formamide, ethanoic acid. And finally, the most polar that is water. Water is used as a solvent for protein, coloring matter, gums, glycosides, sugar, alkaloidal salts, and enzymes, etc. Advantages of using water as menstruum are it has a wide solvent action, it is non toxic in nature, it is non inflammable, and it is inexpensive. Now the disadvantages of using water as menstrual. It interferes with the clarity of the preparation or causes fermentation or decomposition of the preparation. It also causes growth of mold and bacteria. It causes hydrolysis of many substances. Large amount of heat is required to remove the solvent which may degrade the active constituents. Now alcohol is used as solvent for alkaloids glycosides, resins, tannins, coloring matter, and organic acids, etc. Advantages of using alcohol as menstruum are 
Mold and bacteria cannot grow in solution containing alcohol with a concentration of 20% or more. It is neutral, so the extraction products obtained are compatible with other products. Non-toxic in concentration, mostly present in the preparations. Small amount of heat is required, so the active constituents remain intact. And finally, dissolves selective active constituents of the drugs only. Now what are the disadvantages? The one and only disadvantage of using alcohol is that it is expensive and the products formed or extracted also become expensive. Now the first process of extraction that is infusion. Infusion deals with the pouring of warm to boiling water over the drugs and keeping in contact for a period of time usually 15 minutes. Occasional stirring is done and finally the solvent is filtered. Mark is usually not pressed. For example, tea or coffee which we make is by the process of infusion only. This is an example of an infusion pot. Infusion pots are used for the preparation of infusion which consists of a loose perforated shell in which the drug is kept while the pot is filled with hot water. There are two types of infusion, one is fresh infusion and another is concentrated infusion. Stirring is not required in this case because water slowly circulates due to the increase in specific gravity of water near the drug. When water comes in contact with the drug, it dissolves the active constituents and becomes heavier. The heavier layers come down and their place is taken by fresh water. As a result, there is a slow circulation of water and hence stirring generally is not required in infusion. Fresh infusions are to be used within 12 hours of preparation as it may get spoiled due to bacterial or fungal growth. Water is used as a solvent here. Fresh examples are fresh infusion of quassia. Concentrated infusion on the other hand are prepared by double or triple maceration process. It is usually 8 times strong. Alcohol is used within a range of 20 to 25 percent and it can be stored for a longer period of time. For example, infusion of chiyota. Now the second process that is decoction. In this process, the drug is boiled with water for a stated period, usually 10 minutes. After boiling, the liquid is strained and water is mixed to make the required volume. This process is usually used for vegetable drugs of hard and woody nature, having thermostable water soluble constituents. This is an example of drug being boiled in water with the help of Bunsen burn. Then when we have the drug dissolved in water, we have to add fresh water to make up the final volume and decoction product is obtained. Now, Let's see the comparison between infusion and decoction. Infusion leads to cold or boiling water is used as menstrual, whereas in decoction, drug is boiled in water. Drug having soft tissue is used in infusion, whereas in decoction, drug is boiled in water and hard or woody drugs are used. Drug constituents may be volatile in infusion but are non volatile in decoction. And final volume is not adjusted in infusion, whereas final volume is adjusted. The vessel is covered in infusion while, bo while when boiling water is used so that the volume remains constant. But as the final volume is adjusted in decoction, no such precaution is required. Now this is the end of part 1. Thank you for watching this and stay tuned for part 2 of extraction. Thank you.